hi thanks for stopping by this is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. in this little video series I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it all the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now let's get started in this video we're going to have a look at which needle to use for what fabric and for what project and we're going to have a look at how to change your needles as well. So these are the needles that I'm mainly using, the universal machine needles and the ballpoint needle when I'm sewing stretch fabrics for my doll bodies. Now that we're talking about needles I just wanted to have a quick look at the proper needle anatomy here which surprised me, I don't think I ever really looked at this properly. So here we have the butt of the needle. On the side here you can see the needle size, which is really good if you leave a needle lying around somewhere and you forget what it is. If you find a magnifying glass you can have a look here at the needle size. There's the shank, the shoulder. These color markings here represent the needle type and the needle size. That's the blade. There's a groove on the side, uh, on the middle, and the eye, and the point, and the tip. And when we have a proper look at the side view here, that's called the scarf and that's the needle eye. And everything is explained here as well. And then these are the machine needles that I mostly use, the universal one and the jersey one when I'm sewing my doll bodies. The universal one I mostly use um, 80 forward slash 12 size needle which is sort of a medium weight fabric. Sometimes when I'm sewing thicker fabrics, I tend to use a 90 or even 100. Um, the strength of the needle, I think that's the thickness of the needle. Needle size is determined by the blade diameter, i.e. size 75 is 0.75 millimeters. So the 100 one would be like one millimeter thick I think yes okay and the jersey ones I'm usually using the 70 or 81 um, the 81 I, I know I know that a lot of my colleagues are using the 81 so that's okay sometimes I think I want a thinner and more dainty needle so the stitches aren't that detectable so I'm using a 70 size 71 Stretch needles, jeans needles, these are all the specialty needles here for quilting. I do have some quilting needles too from the good old days where I was sewing more quilts. I hope to get back to that soon. Here's a top stitch needle. I never used one of those. I actually always use just my universal needles for that. Leather needles I used to use when I was making Tibetan lambskin wigs. Not doing that anymore hem stitch, quick threading, double eye, and the twin needle, I do have a twin needle for uh, stretch, a stretch twin needle and I think a regular one as well. So if you want to have a more detailed look at this page I'm going to link it down below in the video. Then we also have this brochure here, it's called ABC Pocket Guide for all your needle knowledge. So here you can see the needle type and the needle size, that's what we looked at before. Um, that's the color markings here and there is the needle type, it's an embroidery needle and the needle size is at the bottom of this package here. And there's an, another list of all the needles and with the explanation what to use when and for what etc. And I'm going to use that down below, I'm not going to use it, I'm going to link it. I'm going to use it to link it down below and you can have a proper look at that as well. So the main needles that you're going to need when you're sewing my patterns are universal ones and jersey needles to sew the doll bodies.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.